Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Going on my cheat sheet for today's only main slate for today on DraftKings. And today's question is, again, who is your favorite sneaky home run call of the slate? Now that excludes guys like Story, Blackman, those kind of guys. So sneaky home run call of the slate, leave that in the comments below. I'm curious to see who you guys think. And before we continue, if you could leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. You can also find me on Twitter at chrispinnell 16 And if you'd like access to my entire movie sheet and my Slack chat, link is in the description below for my Patreon. And I also have about three or four NFL videos out already. So if you want to check out the NFL videos, they're posted. They're kind of spread out the past week. so But they're on there. So I'd recommend checking those out for the NFL season. And for that, let's get into today's cheat sheet. And again, I apologize if it sounds like I'm talking weird. I got a canker sore in my mouth and it just hurts to move my uh, lips. So, but I'm going to power through for you guys. So at a uh, picture today, we have Jacob deGrom at 12,000, Derek Rodriguez at 4,600, and Chris Paddock at 9K. Now, I will say this is not a good slate for pitching outside of Jacob deGrom. But it's what we got to work with. So let's dig into the pitching uh, sheet to see why I like the guys that I like and let me sort this by salary so it doesn't bother me so Jacob deGrom he is the clear ace of the slate now I mean I don't, I'm not discrediting Ryu or Lance Lynn they're both great but Jacob deGrom is amazing but the problem is he's 12,000 and this is a course field slate but I will say there's some really cheap sp2 options if you want to fit him in so I have no problem if you want to go with the Grom he's had he has excellent numbers this season he's got 3.2 x fib 31.9 percent K rate six percent walk rate only allowing a 33 percent hard contact rate all of these numbers are elite and and the matchup versus the Cubs I will say it's not the best now he's pitching at home though I do like that but again not the best matchup in the world but just the way the slate is he's the clear spend up option he's probably the safest option i mean rio is okay but i'd, I'd trust the ground more and lance lynn he's pitching in texas which is a problem now i would like him if he was in seattle i'd probably like him the best just because of the price tag but again being in texas that downgrades him but he has plenty of upside too at ten thousand. but if i'm spending up it's going to be jacob de all day and then next I want to talk about is Chris Paddock. Now he's coming in with terrible form, but it's just the nature of the slate. He's only 9,000. He's 3K cheaper than DeGrom, and he draws a soft matchup versus the Giants, who just really don't have a ton of power. Now they don't strike out the most in the league, but again, safer matchup. But I will say, uh, he has not been very good recently. If you look at his little player card on DraftKings, it says uh, there's... You know, thinking maybe sitting him down soon, not sending him down, sitting him down for the rest of the season, you know, shutting him down or letting him power through it. But he's projected to be the starter tomorrow, so looks like they're going to let him uh, go out there and maybe figure it out. I mean, he's got good numbers this season. He's got a 4.21 xFIP, 25% strikeout rate, 5% walk rate. I would say the hard contact and fly balls are a little bit up there, but nonetheless, it's a pretty soft matchup versus the Giants. It's the lowest Vegas total on the slate, I believe. Maybe I might be wrong. No, that's uh, the uh, Mets and Mets and Cubs game. That's the lowest. And I believe the uh, uh, the Padres and the Giants game is the second lowest. I believe so. But, yeah, if you look at the numbers versus righties, I, I prefer lefties versus uh, the Giants. But still, they're not the best numbers in the world. 22% strikeout rate, 169 team ISO, 304 team MOBA, 87 WRC+. Plus. There's a little bit of shades of green here. That's what I like to see if I can't get bright greens. So, do like the matchup for Panic. Is he my favorite player in the world? No, but again, there's a lot of bad pitchers on this slate, so we don't have many options to go with. And I don't want to break the bank for pitching tomorrow because we have a course field slate, so I want to get some course field. And there's some bad pitchers in course tomorrow, so definitely going to need to fit those guys in, and we can't do it if we go double high end pitcher. So, that leads me to my SP2 option, and that's going to be Derek Rodriguez at 4,600. He's basically free tomorrow if you want to use him with the Grom. You're only using about 16,000 salary, which isn't too bad. It's not the best, but he's only 4,600. He's basically free. Now, does he have any good numbers? No, not at all. He does not have good numbers at all, but he does have 20 point upside. He's flashed it. Now, he does also has negative point upside, but he draws himself a good matchup versus the Padres, who do struggle with righties. Tatis is not in the lineup, so that makes it even worse for them. And they strike out quite a bit to righties. Now, Rodriguez has like zero, not zero strikeout upside, but he's a low strikeout pitcher. 
But the Padres own the highest strikeout percentage on the slate to right-handed pit- pitching at 26.2%. 183 Team ISO, 308, 308 Team MOBA, 89 WRC+. Plus. Again, Tatis is out. It's more of a watered-down lineup. I think Rodriguez is the way to go at SP2. He's a core play for me. Am I expecting a lot here? No, I'm not. But he allows us to get the bats in we want, and I think the bats win the slate. So anyway, that's my opinion on pitching. Obviously, I don't play Chi-Chi Gonzalez. I wouldn't be playing Felix Hernandez or Trevor Williams. So that's what leads me to Derek Rodriguez. And I think it's a decent matchup at that price. So let's get into the bats now. At catcher, we have Wilson Ramos at 3,800 versus John Lester. Now, if we're going to use anyone versus Lester, we want the righties. Ramos has a very good K percentage when it comes to facing lefties. And by that, I mean he has a really low strikeout percentage. He doesn't strike out. He makes a lot of good hard not a lot of good hard contact, a lot of good contact versus left-handed pitching, so I don't mind using him. Jeff Mathis, Jeff Mathis is dirt cheap if you want to use him. He's in Texas versus Felix Hernandez, who is not the same pitcher he was years ago. Tony Walter, 3,400, cheaper cores exposure versus he gets the lefty on righty matchup, so he gets the platoon advantage there. At first base, we have Josh Bell at 5,400 versus Chichi Gonzalez in Coors Field. Bell is better versus right-handed pitching. Chichi Gonzalez is not a very good pitcher at all. This has the highest uh, Vegas total of the slate. Obviously, it's about 14 right now, and it's pretty close for who's going to win. So they're projected to both, I think, I believe, to score versus six runs, or at least five and a half. So definitely love the Pirates tomorrow. Definitely love the Rockies tomorrow. So it leads me into Daniel Murphy at 4,500 versus Trevor Williams. Trevor Williams is not the best pitcher in the world. It's Coors Field. I would load up on the Rockies with full confidence. They're my top stack of the slate. Not Nothing bold about that, but we're going to have to play them, especially in cash games. And Daniel Murphy is a little too cheap here, in my opinion. And then we have Jock Peterson at 4,400 versus Merrill Kelly. He's cheap enough. He's really good versus righties. He makes some sense here. Uh, second base, we have Adam Frazier, 4,800. He should be leading off versus Chichi Gonzalez, and he's actually decently priced compared to guys like Bell, uh, Moran, and uh, Sterling Marte. So don't mind using him. And then Ryan McMahon at 4,700. Just more co- cores exposure versus Trevor Williams. And he's 4,700. Not terrible. And then we have Rugnet Odor at 3,700 versus Felix Hernandez. Hernandez has uh, worse splits versus lefties, lower strikeout rate, higher ISO given up. It's they're going to be in a hitter-friendly park. Odor, that price makes sense to me. At right, third base, we have Nolan Arenado at 5,700. Now he's better versus lefties. But again, we're in course field. Trevor Williams is not a, the best pitcher in the world. If we want to pay up, for, pay up for Arenado, I have no problem with that. But if we are picking between Story and Arenado, give me Story versus the righty, as he's been better versus righties this season. Then we have Colin Moran at 4,900. He's been pretty hot recently. has a good stretch, has a really nice stretch of games recently, and he's facing a righty. Moran's good versus righties. Moran, he makes sense to me versus Chi Chi Gonzalez in Coors Field. Cal Seager, another guy who's actually been a little hot here, 4,400. It's a tough matchup versus Lance Lynn, but if we're gonna use anyone versus Lance Lynn, I'd prefer it to be the lefties. He's fairly priced at 4,400. He's in Texas, good hitting conditions, good hitting park overall. I don't mind Seager at 4,400. At shortstop, Trevor Story, 5,600. He's one of the top plays in the entire slate for me. He's a core play. He's my preferred spend-up out of anybody. He's been great versus Reddies this season. It's Coors Field. Load up the Rockies. Elvis Andrews, 4,400. Now, I said I prefer the lefties versus Hernandez, but I don't mind using Andrews at this price in Texas at 4,400 versus Felix Hernandez. J.P. Crawford, 4K. He's been very good versus Reddies this season. And like I said, if I'm going to use anybody versus Lance Lynn, I want it to be the lefties. Then in the high-end outfield, we have Charlie Blackman at 5,700 versus Trevor Williams. Blackman's going to be leading off uh, versus a righty in course field. He's been great versus righties. He makes a lot of sense to me. Danny Santana at 5,400 versus Felix Hernandez. He's better versus uh, right-handed pitching. He makes sense. Love the Rangers stack. Uh, Sterling Marte at 5,800. He's very, very expensive. It's gonna be going to be hard to afford him, so maybe he's the lower-owned guy out of all the cores. I have all the cores bats, so it could be pretty nice for GPPs. I will say that I much prefer Blackman at 100. Uh, he's 100 cheaper. So, And then in the mid-range outfield, we have a couple of Ranger bats here. Shinsu Chu, 4,800 versus Felix Fernandez. I said I like all the Ranger lefties here, and that would include Willie Calhoun. Now, I know they're not really mid-priced, but there really wasn't anyone else I liked in this price range, so I just put them in there. Uh, Josh Van Meter, Josh Van Goat, whatever you want to call him, 4,200 versus Robert Duggar. It's in Miami. 
don't love it, but the Reds have actually been hitting pretty well in Miami. I know uh, the Punisher just hit a three-run shot, and then they scored a bunch of runs yesterday, so I guess it doesn't seem to matter for them. So I don't mind going with Van Gogh. Should be leading off. And then in the value outfield, we have Sam Hilliard at 4K. Now, he was like 2600 two nights ago. I played him. He homered. His price really risen, which sucks. I was really hoping to scroll down and see he was really cheap. Fortunately, 4K is as low as we can get with him, but I don't mind the matchup here. Obviously, he's in cores. Lefty on righty matchup makes a lot of sense. Then Melky Cabrera, 3900 Very, very cheap cores exposure, so I don't mind going with him. I could see him having ownership if he draws a decent spot in the lineup. Then the core plays and top stacks for me are Derek Rodriguez at 4,600. I know it looks ugly, but when you're making lineups, I'm telling you, you're going to need this guy in your lineup if you want to fit Coors bats in because you just can't play Jacob deGrom and a guy like – like, sorry, my dog was barking. He scared me. <laughs> yeah, you can't play a guy like Jacob deGrom and Chris Paddock together and like your lineup. I'm telling you that right now. So you're going to need a guy like Rodriguez in your lineup to free things up. Daniel Murphy at 4,500. He's a little bit too cheap for me, and he's got a good matchup. Platoon advantage, course field, kind of sense. Then Trevor Story, 5,600, course field versus a righty. He smashed righties this season. Loves Trevor Story tomorrow. And the top stacks for me are the Rockies, the Pirates, the Rangers, and then the Dodgers. I don't really know. I know I really don't have any Dodgers listed, but I think they'll go a little bit lower on, and I think they're pretty interesting. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for the video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. I'm sorry I didn't do any content for the early, early slate, but... I'll, the only pitchers I like are high-end pitchers, and the low-end pitchers suck, and I don't know, it's just kind of a gross slate to me, so I'm going to pass on that, but I'll leave you guys with this. I wish you guys a happy Thursday. I don't know what's really happy about Thursdays. Well, I guess next week we have football, so that'll be great, but I wish you guys the best of luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.